everyone, welcome to the Hobby Lobby Creative Studio. I'm Sarah. Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable vintage inspired crochet dishcloth. So stick around, I'll dish out all the steps right after this. The cool thing about crochet is that even if you're brand new to it and only know how to do a couple of stitches, you can still create so many cute and useful things. All of the dishcloths that you see here today are so super easy to make, not to mention a useful addition to your kitchen. So to make our dishcloth today, we're going to be using 100% cotton yarn from the I Love This Cotton line of yarns. So to start your dishcloth, what you're going to do is tie a slip knot. Then insert your crochet hook through the loop and pull up on your slip knot to tighten the knot against your hook. Now we're going to chain 40. So find your hold on your yarn, however is most comfortable to you. And we're using a size I9 crochet hook, which is the size recommended to use with this particular yarn. So you're going to chain 40 chains which is going to be about nine and a half to 10 inches long, depending on how you crochet. Some people crochet a little more tightly and some people crochet a little more loosely than others. So if you need a little bit more explanation about how to chain, go ahead and check out our crochet basics video to slow things down a bit. And we cover how to chain more in depth as well as a few other basic stitches. And then be sure and come back and give this project a try. We're going to be making our entire dishcloth in half double crochet. So now that we have our 40 chain stitches, we can start our first row of half double crochet. So to do that, what we need to do is insert our crochet hook in the third chain stitch from the hook. So count three stitches over and make sure the V's are still facing up towards you, right side up. And we're going to count one, two, three stitches over and we're gonna do a yarn over first before we insert our hook into that third chain stitch over. And then once we're through, yarn over again, pull the yarn back through the stitch, and you now have three loops on your hook. And to do a half double crochet, all we do now is yarn over one more time, pull the yarn through all three loops. And that's one half double crochet. So to continue over on your row, yarn over again, insert your hook into the next stitch over, Yarn over, pull the yarn back through the stitch. We have three loops on our hook now. Yarn over, pull your yarn through all three loops. So to continue going across the rest of the row, just remember to yarn over first and insert your hook into the next stitch over. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Easy, right? So just continue your HDC or half double crochet across the rest of your row. I'm finishing up the last stitch of my first row. So once we're done with that, what we need to do is turn our work so that we can start on the next row up. So leave your hook in your right hand where it is and use your other hand to just turn your work towards you so that it flips around like this. And now it's ready for us to crochet across on our second row now. So what we need to do here is chain two, and these two chains are called a turning chain. And what they do is they allow us a few extra chains to allow for the height that we need for that half double crochet stitch so that it ends up being a nice even straight line all the way across our row. So after you chain two, don't forget to yarn over first and insert your hook into the second stitch of your work because your turning chain counts as the first stitch of the row. So again, just continue to do that half double crochet across your entire second row, then turn your work, chain two to make that turning chain, and then begin your half double crochet stitch in the third stitch from the hook. And make sure you do this for every row. 
So I'm working on my 15th row now, and here's what it's looking like. So if yours looks anything like this, you're on the right track. So what you're going to do is just continue to do your half double crochet for 30 rows total, which is about 10 to 10 and a half inches high. So you could of course always add more rows than that if you would like your dishcloth to be a little bit larger. So again, just keep going with your half double crochet all the way across your row until it's time to turn your work and start the next row. Okay, I'm completing my very last half double crochet. And once again, I've crocheted 30 rows total. So here's how you end your work. When you're done, you have one loop left on your hook like this. So all you do is pull up a little bit on it just to make that loop a little bit bigger. And then we're going to cut the working yarn, which is the yarn that's still attached to our yarn ball. So cut it about maybe six inches down. And then what you're going to do is you can take your hook out now and take that end of yarn and stick it through this loop. Just like that. And then pull to tighten that loop down next to your work. Okay. So what we're left with is an end of yarn here and then we still have an end left from when we very first started. So what we're going to do is weave in those ends to our work so, th so that they blend in and this makes um, the ends here a little more secure than just cutting them off and it makes it more polished and professional looking as well. So all you need to do is just use the same hook that you've been using this whole time and you can just insert your hook into the stitch that's on the very edge here of your work closest to where we just cut the yarn. So just insert your hook and do a yarn over to pull that yarn back through the stitch and just pull it all the way through like that. So then just insert your hook into the next stitch over. You can do a yarn over and then pull the yarn all the way through like that. So continue to work on this until your entire end is woven into the edge here. And then don't forget to weave in the end near where you first did your chain stitches. So here's what it looks like when you're all finished. That's all there is to it. Told you it was easy. So this is a great project, especially for beginners. And you can also try your hand at crocheting other kinds of kitchen accessories, such as kitchen or tea towels. And look how cute these turned out to be that we made and how perfect would these be for gifting. So I had a lot of fun today showing you how to make this simple dishcloth and we'd love to see what other cute kitchen accessories that you add crochet to. We'll see you next time everyone, bye.